What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another EC Eats. Today, I got some kimchi fried rice up in here. Check it out. Look at that. Yeah. Got this just now fresh from a spot called Sunwoo. Brand new spot that opened up here in Markham for Korean food. You know, normally I eat a lot of Korean food. There's a lot of different spots that I tried. This is the first time I'm trying this spot. Hope it's good. Got some, let's see, they got some nice fried egg on top with a lot of seaweed. The standard kimchi. Let's see what they got in here. Kimchi looks really nice. Let's see. Ooh, it smells really strong. I'm digging for a bite here. Got that long Korean spoon. Mm. It's hot. Oh, spicy. Mmm, very spicy. It's like, it's a nice spicy. Has a kick to it, but then it's not like destroying your mouth, you know? Mmm, good kimchi. Open up this egg. Not a runny egg, a little disappointing in that, but it is what it is. Mm. Kimchi fried rice without an egg is not kimchi fried rice. You gotta have that top egg on top, man. Mm. That's good. That's fucking good. And they came with a bunch of banchan, some side dishes. Let's take a look at them. First up, we got, they're, these are big too. Look at, look how loaded that is. Got some chapche, got that glass noodle. I love these, they're my favorite. Try a little bit of that. Nice, good texture, not too soft, but really nice sweetness to the japchae. Oh, I love this. Mm. Good sesame oil flavor. Mm. Mm. Absolutely delicious. What are you guys' thoughts on Korean food? I know a lot of people, my friends love it. Every time we finish doing anything, it's like, yo, Korean, you know? It's just so versatile. A lot of good vegetarian options, a lot of good meat options. It's like something for everyone, you know? And it's relatively cheap. This is a, this whole thing, I want to go pick up around like, I think it's $11.99 or $12.99 for the um, kimchi bokumbap, the kimchi fried rice. So it's good. You get like basically 12, 13 bucks for all this whole big portion and all the fried dishes. Let's move on to the next one. Oh yeah. What I'm eating right now, their kimchi, look at that. It's a beaut, right? Looks really, really red. Let's see, let's see, let's see one little slice, because I already have it in here, I don't want to eat too much of the kimchi. Let's see. Mm. That's fucking good. That's really good. It's like a sweetness to the kimchi. Like it's way different than it is in the, in the fried rice. This by itself, this is really, really good. Moving on to the next one. What do we got? Oh, bean sprouts. So my bean sprouts right here. Not a big a fan of like, to, uh, like bean sprouts on the side dishes, They're like whatever. Yeah, I guess it gives you like a nice refreshing, cooling palate cleanser. But like, to be honest, like nothing special about bean sprouts. Not my favorite. Very, very nice. You get a nice sweetness, but the spiciness of the kimchi, coupled by that nice Korean rice, so it holds everything together. You get a sauce that's soaked up all of that within the rice. So you get 
a really nice kick of heat, but you have to get in the sweetness of the flavor. Can't go wrong with kimchi fried rice, man. Can't, you can't mess this up. Look at that. Little bite with the, the egg and everything. Ooh. A1, man. There's one last side dish here too. Ooh, fish cake. I like that. I like the fish cake. I like fish cakes in the side dishes. Mm. Mm. Nice soft sweetness to the fish cake. Sometimes you get green places that have fish cakes that are very like rubbery. This doesn't taste like that. It's nice. Nice springy. Good sweetness. And carrot in there. Nice. Very nice. Out of the four side dishes, I think I'm biased here. Probably top J is number one, but the kimchi is really close. It's amazing kimchi. This place has really good kimchi. Sun Wu, man. When I initially Googled this place, I Googled Sun Wu, and the thing that popped up was Sun Wu that, um, you know, that YouTuber, um, ProZD, I think that's the name. That showed up because his name is Sun Wu. So funny. He's like pretty old, like 30 something, but he looks like he's super young. Like my Mm. Absolutely delightful. Give us some more of that chap chai. I don't know how recently this place opened. My cousin was the one who told me about it. There's a brand new spot open, probably just like within like the past month or so. I'm not too sure, but very good spot. Really good. Really good to add to my list of Korean spots that I go into at Markham. <coughs> oh, <coughs> it's not COVID man. Just like, oh, the spice can't hit me. Oh. Their spot is pretty much a takeout spot though. It's pretty small inside, but how's anyone sitting indoors any anyways nowadays, right? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. My nose is running, man. I'm getting sweaty. It's pretty spicy, but like, dang it, I can't handle spice. This place is fantastic. All done, man. Mm. Value 10, 10 out of 10. Taste 10 out of 10. Place amazing. Probably, yeah, probably one of the best green spots I've been to in, in, uh, in Markham. What I've noticed, like the flavors here in Canada, they're a lot stronger in the spice than they are in Korea. When I was in Korea last year, they're like a lot more mild, but then a lot more soup based. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Uh, make sure you share with your friends. Let everybody know about EC Eats, you know? All right, stay safe, everybody. Peace out. <laughs>